Hello and welcome to those Endless Mysteries. Today we will be going over a Bigfoot sighting from June the 3rd of 2009. This sighting comes out of California, which ranks second only to Washington for the most sightings in a state. Now the witness says that he's still very emotional about what he saw that day and can remember every moment of his encounter with this creature that on June the 3rd of 2009, that him and a friend with his 15-month-old daughter had went swimming and fishing. After being there for about 20 minutes, the witness wandered off looking for some lizards. While the terrain in the area is heavily forested with old redwoods and oaks, while having a heavy fern growth as well, Saying at this point, he started to hear a loud thumping sound. That when he looked in the direction of the thumping, he says that he saw a large creature. This creature was around 100 feet up the hill from him. The witness says that as the encounter started, that the creature was slightly crouched down. While the witness stood there watching this creature, the creature would move very slowly. Looking as if it was trying to conceal itself behind a bush and a large upright boulder. The witness and this creature seemed to be watching each other for at least a minute. So the witness was able to get a very good look at this creature. Noticing a lot of this creature's features. The witness described the creature as having reddish brown hair. With it being long and shaggy. While it was matted in spots up on its head and around its upper shoulders. With the witness describing this creature as having bad bed head. <laughs> okay, I can get that one. Kind of reminds me of my hair in the mornings. So yeah, I can relate to this Bigfoot already. We both have bad bed heads. While the hair along its arms seemed to be groomed and clean. The witness also noticed that this creature's hair on the top of its head was just a shade darker than the rest of its body. He says that this creature's eyes were very large, that its eyes looked to be close to three times bigger than that of a human, saying that the eyes were uh, amber brown while having very little white in the corners of its eyes. Now, as far as this creature's nose goes, the witness said that it was flat with large nostrils. At one time, he compared it to having a pig and monkey nose combined. Well, that would be a strange nose now. Pig and monkey combined? That sounds strange, but I think the witness was just trying to describe it in a way that people could understand. That this creature had huge nostrils and they were wide apart on its face. The witness says that he never seen the teeth or tongue of this creature, but that the lips on this creature was full and thick. The witness said that this creature did have ears, that they stuck out a bit, but not too much. They were close to the head while not having any hair on them, saying that they were the color of dirt, which I take as being a darker brown in color, or this creature could have actually had mud on its ears to help protect its ears from bugs and mosquitoes. So yeah, I could see that happening as well. Now with this creature having no hair on its nose and jawline, the witness said that the hair on this creature's face was patchy at best. Well, he did say he noticed a light gray hair around its eyes. He also noticed that this creature's head looked to sit right on top of its shoulders. That if it did have a neck, then he didn't notice it, he said. He did say that the creature had huge shoulders, saying that it looked like a linebacker in full pads. As he also said that he noticed this creature's chest, that this creature was definitely a male, saying that it didn't have any breast, that it only had light hair covering its chest while he saw what looked like dirty reddish peach skin underneath the creature's hair. Another thing the witness said that he noticed was that this creature only blinked twice that he can remember seeing during the whole encounter. 
while the witness also states that the animal had a benign look on its face at first, but that towards the end of the encounter, that it started looking a little more aggressive, with the creature getting a slight snarl on its face, that he believed the creature was letting him know that it didn't want him here anymore. But the creature never let out any kind of noise. So I guess that the creature's face showed enough emotion to let the witness know he wasn't wanted in the area anymore. Even though the witness said it wasn't quite human looking. But he could still see the emotion on this creature's face. So to me, it sounds like it had enough human emotions to show through. So with being able to show human emotions, could that mean that it's also a very intelligent animal? From what I have came to believe over the years is yes, that these creatures are very smart and knows when humans are in the area, that they truly try not to be seen. But their curiosity about us gets the best of them sometimes. Let them get a little too close. Then we have another witness with a sighting story to be told. While other sightings happens by accident. Someone comes around a curve or something, then that's another sighting report. I do believe that if these creatures do really exist, that they are very smart animals. The witness says that as the creature started looking a little upset that he was there, that he left the area. Then he rounded up the others and left for home, saying that he didn't know why, that he just wanted to get out of the area. The witness also said that he has had a lot of strange experiences over the years, like rock throwing and a large splash that hit the water. Sometimes getting pine cones thrown into their campsites. So what do you think about this sighting? I hope you all like this one. So till next time, stay safe and have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. So you can keep up with all of our latest videos. And thanks for watching Those Endless Mysteries.